hello guys uh, on my last tutorial uh, we stopped near the instance memory uh, db2 instance uh, configuration parameter now today we are going to see in detail about the instance memory and uh, how it helps to fine tune the database memory and, and the application memory and the most Im important aspects of the instance memory okay this is a very important parameter but uh, m in most of the cases i see uh, the people setting this parameter to automatic and uh, just leaving the system like just like that okay so before getting into the instance uh, memory parameter um, we have to understand the db2 memory architecture like how this instance memory is been shared among what resources okay so uh, if you see the um, diagram here uh, the thing in the green box is the instance memory for example okay and this instance memory will be shared by the database uh, uh, database and the application and again you have agent private memory and the agent local shared memory but uh, the majority of this memory uh, which has been allocated will be used primarily by the database and then the application okay so at this point i, I will not worry about the agent private memory and the local shared memory because it will consume very less memory okay and again we have the database manager shared memory and from this um, in my la in the last tutorial we see saw like the audit buffer size and the monitoring heap all those kind of things right so those uh, memories uh, parameters uh, will consume memory from this part of the uh, database manager shared memory okay so uh, at the top uh, we have the instant memory and uh, that instance memory will be utilized by the databases inside that instance so for example if you have uh, eight databases inside the instance then all these eight databases will have an overall limit of that instance memory for example you have instant memory set to 10 gb now you have five databases so that 10 gb has to be shared between these five databases okay um and again uh, for example if you set this particular value to instance memory suppose 100 gb okay the database uh, the, the instance has a tendency to give 80 percent of that um, memory to the database database memory okay so the 80 percent of 100 gb will be 80, 80 gb right so 80 gb will go to the database memory and rest 20 gb will be allocated to other uh, memory segments okay so it's a very important point that uh, we should understand that uh, in the instance has a tendency to give 80 80 to 90 percent actually 80 to 90 percent to the database memory okay now how can we look uh, we know how to update the parameter right like using the db to update db mcfg instance memory and you just calculate the um, mmr into 4k pages size and then update the parameter okay but how do you um, look into the usage of this instance memory how much is allocated to database how much is allocated to application right so for that we have a command called db to pd hyphen dbptnmem okay so uh, dbptnmem means db partition memory okay so just the easy way of looking into it okay uh, if you see the first uh, green box which says instance memory equal to automatic it says question mark uh, if you see the uh, line here the control automatic is set to n right so it means that the automatic uh, instance memory is not set to automatic okay so it is set to a manual value when the controller automatic is set to n now there's another parameter called memory limit right i'll just reduce the screen size so that i can move my mouse over there okay now if you see the memory limit here yeah it says db2 servers upper bound memory that can be used as instant memory so if you set this value for example um, to 10 gb now that will be the upper bound memory okay so you can only use 10 gb for the, your instance okay this is a hard limit which you can use on your db2 server okay even though you have a ram of 20 gb okay you cannot and it is free you cannot use beyond the 10 gb which has been allocated okay so this is your hardcore limit now you have the 
current usage right now i will come to this parameter in a in a while okay current usage um then we have the high watermark usage right so this is the memory it was used oh, highest um, like the what you say that uh, it called the high watermark okay so it has been used to the highest level at that point in, in point in time some some time ago after the db2 was started okay okay so this, this is the highest value which was used for example if you set the instant memory to 10 gb and uh, you see the high watermark usage was set to 9 gb means the highest you have used uh, your instant memory is up to only 9 gb okay but most of the cases uh, what i've seen is the high watermark usage will be equal to the memory limit okay so depending on your workload the values will go up and down okay and again you have the cached memory okay so we left two parameters one is one is current usage and one is cached memory so let's see what is current usage and the cached memory okay okay now uh, i have set my total instant memory to 10 gb okay so in this graph you can see uh, this blue box it says 10 gb okay now imagine this is 10 gb and uh, the in use memory is 8 gb and the cached memory is 2 gb so what does it mean okay even though i have set my instance to 10 gb only 8 gb of my memory is in use okay and 2 gb has just been pre allocated but not in use okay so cached memory is nothing but the memory which is not in use even though it is allocated to the instant memory it is not in use okay now again going back to my presentation over here so here here is your current usage right now this current usage is nothing but the whole box which we saw in this thing okay so this whole box is nothing but the current usage okay and again you have the cached memory right so this is the cached memory so the current usage minus the cached memory will give you the in in use memory okay so total instant memory what i have given here is nothing but the used memory okay total allocated at that point in time cache memory is nothing but which is allocated but not in use so that will give you the in used memory in use memory right now why should we understand this particular concept okay now you have a instant memory which is with which is set to 10 gb and uh, your in use memory is 8 gb and your cache memory is 2 gb okay now there is a request from the customer to reduce your instant memory to 7 gb okay is it possible yes it is possible but it cannot be done online why because your in use memory is 8 gb right so the database is currently using 8 gb okay so you cannot reduce the instant memory online to 7 gb when your current in use memory is 8 gb okay so for that to happen you have to take a restart of the instance so in that case you have to your inform the customer that we will need a reboot of the instance to reduce the memory okay similarly uh, your instance memory set to 10 gb your in use memory is 7 gb your cache memory is 2 gb or 3 gb okay and you want to increase it right so increase is always um, you can do it online but you just make sure that you have enough memory in the ram so if you if your ram doesn't have that much space you might get some error while increasing your instance memory beyond the ram value okay now uh, let us see a demo like how it works so in my case the instance memory set to automatic okay no okay so if you see here uh, my memory limit is around 2 gb okay the current usage is this much high watermark has gone up to this value my cache memory is this much right 
now uh, we have the individual memory consumers here so uh, dbms nothing means nothing but the instance memory okay so this is the memory used at the at this point in time and you have the high watermark this is the cached memory okay fmp is again for the stored procedures uh, okay again this is not the major consumer memory consumer here so let's see what happens when we try to activate a database okay so i have a database called test i'm going to activate it and then look at the okay now if you see here we have two more uh, memory consumers added here right so one is the db test okay and you have the application for the test database okay so as you can see the major consumers here are your instance database and your application okay so instance memory will be allocated when you start the instance okay so all your buffers like the audit buffers and your monitoring buffers they will start and when you start a database again your agents for application agents and uh, your the objects inside like the buffer pool okay so those kind of memory segments will be allocated when you start the database so and so basically you can monitor your instance memory using this particular command okay so there are other tools which we can use to monitor the db2 memory but we will look into that later in the class because it has a lot of things uh, the tool is called db2 top okay and um, let me go through a scenario where um, for example you have set your um, instance memory to automatic your database memory to automatic your application memory to automatic right so most of the people try to do that like they set everything to automatic and then uh, just blame the db2 engine if something happens right and now there was a scenario where application guy comes to us and they say i'm getting some error when i'm running the application my application is running out of memory okay um so what we have planned to do is we we want to increase the ram to 10 gb and then allocate that uh, that additional 10 gb of ram to the instance memory okay will that help if you set everything to automatic okay the our main intention is for the application to consume most of the memory which was allocated to the ram right now i say here is uh, everything is set to automatic you increase the ram you in, okay so automatically uh, you have set the parameter automatic right now the instance will try to take the free memory from the ram right now what will happen so at this point you initially you had the ram set to 10 gb now you have set you have set the ram to 20 gb okay and i told you one very most important thing is the in instance has a tendency to give 80% of the instance memory to the database memory okay so initially when it was set to 10 gb 80 8 gb of that was going to database memory and 2 gb was going to application memory okay now we have increased the ram now what will happen again the same scenario where your database will consume 80% right so it will be 8 plus 8 16 gb and your application will have only 4 gb of memory so which basically means that you have only allocated 2 gb from that 10 gb of ram which you have added to the system okay so in that case you need to fine tune using a manual value okay you cannot set the values to automatic and you can just blame the db2 engine that it is not working fine or something like that okay so either you set the instance to a manual value and the database to a manual value so depending on your scenario you have to play around with this parameters okay so i hope this um, has made so many things clear about the instance memory and uh, you guys will have a greater look into this parameter okay thanks a lot for watching see you in the next video